All right, welcome to episode seven. And in this episode, we're going to learn the details of how cytokinesis occurs in an animal cell and how cytokinesis occurs in a plant cell. And then at the end of this episode, we're going to do a review of the eukaryotic cell cycle. So we're going to go over what happens during interphase and a quick little review of what happens during the M phase. Well, let's get down to business, all right? Cytokinesis, as you've heard many times in these uh, this series of screencasts, this is the division of the cytoplasm. So you have a mother cell, and it's going to divide into two daughter cells. So that splitting of the cytoplasm, that's what cytokinesis is. Now, in an animal cell, you're going to have the formation of what is called a cleavage furrow. Cleave means to cut. So this is a furrow, and think of a, a row in a field where a plow has gone through, is you're starting to put a dent in the cell, and it's going to cleave or cut it in half eventually. Okay. Now in plant cells, we have the cell wall that's in the way, and we have to basically create a new cell wall between the daughter cells. In the beginning of the cell wall, this is called the cell plate. Okay. I have a graphic that's going to show these better than any way that I could draw. Whoa, that was hot. All right. As you look over here on the left of your screen, this is what's happening in the animal cell. In this cleavage furrow, kind of think of how it's starting to get sliced right down here so that this is going to be one daughter cell and this is going to be the other daughter cell. Now, what's really cool about cytokinesis in an animal cell is it's done by microfilaments. Remember, micro means tiny, filaments means thread. So think of basically there's a belt around the equator of the cell. And this belt is going to get tight, tighter, 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 until it eventually pinches the cell in half. So think of this. If you took your belt on, on your pants and you just started tightening and tightening and tightening it until it sliced through you, that's exactly what's happening here. So there's the formation of the cleavage furrow. This is that little dent that you saw when we did our screencast on telophase. Now over here is a plant cell. Plant cells are rather unique because they have this cell wall. Remember the cell wall is made out of cellulose. Now once the cell divides, we can't just pinch it in and move it because that cell wall is too hard. So we're going to make a new cell. So here we've got vesicles. Remember, a vesicle is a tiny membrane bubble that stores stuff. And remember, the vesicle is going to have cellulose in it because cellulose is the carbohydrate that the plant cell is going to be made out of. These vesicles are going to line up on the equator, and then they're going to fuse and form one big slender uh, vesicle. And this is called the cell plate. The cell plate is going to continue to extend, extend, extend until it creates a new cell wall that separates the two cells. Now, these two cells down here are going to be able to double their size like all cells get to do, but they're going to be limited into their shape because this cell wall can only expand so much. So remember, when it comes to animal cells, you've got a cleavage furrow. And when it comes to plant cells, you've got a cell plate. So let's circle those for you so you don't forget that. Okay, animal cells, cleavage furrow, plant cells, a cell plate. All right, let's do a little bit of review. Okay, this graphic, remember, this is the cell cycle. Let's stick with this red that we had before. Okay, now most of the cell cycle is going to be interphase. So the stuff that's in white... Remember, that's interphase. And during interphase, you've got your gap one, which is growth. Cell's going to double its size. The S phase, that's replication of the DNA. And then in G2, you're preparing for mitosis. And during mitosis, you're going to go through prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. All right? Now, Prophase and prometaphase, I just lump those all together as just prophase. I just kind of keep it simple. Okay, so remember, in prophase, your chromosomes are going to uncoil, or I'm sorry, your chromosomes are going to coil up. Nuclear envelope is going to break down. Centrioles are going to move towards the poles, and your mitotic spindle is going to form. During metaphase, the chromosomes line up in the middle. 
and the kinetochores are connected to the spindles and you're going to be ready to go through anaphase and during anaphase the chromatids separate because the kinetochores are chewing their way down the spindle and then during telophase it's essentially the opposite of prophase because you're going to reform the nuclei for each of the daughter cells so nuclear envelope is going to reform the chromosomes are going to uncoil the spindle is going to break down because you don't need those anymore and you're going to possibly begin the process of cytokinesis. And remember in cytokinesis, that's when the uh, cytoplasm is going to be split into two, and you have two genetically identical daughter cells. Okay? So this is just a review of the eukaryotic cell cycle. So until our next episode, we're going to catch you on the flip side.